hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to use a um, global mapper to generate some um, volume from some point data so let's open up the data good let's just click ok ok and then um, we move on now we have imported our data. These actually are some points that we have picked uh, maybe during a topographic survey, right? We can decide to label them with their um, use um, yeah, selected attribute value, right? We can decide to label them with their um, elevation values, right? Good. So we have these points here. The next thing is that I would also want us to get our boundary, which is um, which is this now the essence of the boundary will be known very soon so we need to create what a surface yeah we need to create a surface from which we are going to compute our volume so the next thing is for us to come down to analysis then um select create elevation grid from what 3d vector slash um, lidar data now the layers with which we want to use to create that um surface should be what data right good so let's call this um surface i'll prefer using surface so we have um grid options tilings and then grid bounds we just leave all of this as um, default and we click on ok now we have actually created what let's see we have actually created our elevation grid right good now, why do I have the boundary here? Yeah? Let me move this up a bit. Good. So why do I have the boundary? I would want to use this boundary to clip our surface, right? Good. So that we don't have some of these other parts that um, are not accounted for in our data. So before we do that, you know, ensure that your boundary data is a polygon because if it's not a polygon and it's a line string, you are going to encounter some challenges. So ensure that your boundary data is what a polygon. You can confirm that by coming up towards the features type, double click or maybe right click select options and then you see what the feature types and you see that it's what areas that's um, unknown area type. So if it's line or points, you are going to encounter some challenges. So I haven't done that. We are going to select um, this uh, layer, start um, digitizer. And then we also need to select what all the features in the selected layer, right? Good. So that's um, another form of what the digitizer. So you can now see that um, we have some grids, right? Good lines that are intersecting each other. So having done that, we now come to the surface we created. We go to the layer options. Then we come to what cropping, right? Good. Now under cropping, we now select crop to currently selected polygons right because this is the polygon we have and then we have actually selected it so we want to crop this our surface to this um, currently selected polygon we apply that and we click on ok right now you see that our extent is actually being defined the surface is actually being defined by what our boundary extent right good so let me put out this and then we can actually see what the surface the next thing is for us to create what a simple contour so we come down to analysis again and then we generate contours from the terrain grid right now um generated contours interval is m5 as default i wouldn't want to touch or alter any of these let's click on ok good so we have um our contours somewhere around there they may look a bit scanty but um, that's okay for now the next thing is for us to now come up to creating what the um the volume now there are some things to pay attention to before you start creating um, generating the volume before you start generating the volume you ensure that um, your contours are actually selected right otherwise the um create cut and feed volume um, option will not be highlighted for you to use right good so we can see that um, good upon the selecting 
the boundary that was selected earlier you now see that what the calculate cut and view volume um, button or maybe option has been deselected right good so for you to be able to use it um, correctly you need to what for you to be able to put it on you need to select what the the contours this time around so we come down to generated contours then we select all good and then we now see that what calculates cut and fill volume is up now pay attention to something else remember at first it was the boundary that was selected now we have what the generated contours selected right good so remember they are not the same thing if we want to define the volume right because now the volume we want to maybe determine is actually based on the generated contours that's why we have actually um taking our time to generate these contours so we have actually selected them we come down to calculate them um, cut and fill volume now this is the or let's say these are the volume calculation parameters set up right we have the volume calculation type we have them um, calculate cut and fill volume along line features and that will definitely be those um, contour lines and then simple sampling so these are the options if you would want to make any modifications on these options you ensure that um, you have your parameters right right good now the volume unit if we have actually been using meters you can see we are using what um, a projected crs whose units is in meter right good so it's best then um, we stick to the cubic meters and then um base height in list are above ground right good you know we're actually working on the what on the topography now there are some notes that you can actually read to what appreciate these and um, parameters set up right good so i haven't done all of this we click on ok so we have what the fissure measurement information out now you can actually move this to excel right good export to csv file so let's call this um let's call this um, volume report right so we are going to assess whatever information we have here on that um, report good so we have what the official name the type then this is where our interest lies right the total volume the net volume the cut volume cut area the fill volume the fill area and then the length right good now by looking at these parameters you are going to see that um, the fissure name is based on what the contour lines that we have there and then you can see if they are major or they are minor right the fill volume of um, 49.172 is actually related to the cut volume the net volume and the total volume in that um, the difference between the cut volume and the net volume gives you what the the fill volume right and then since um, it's actually a cut and fill analysis you know what the cut represents in terms of maybe being excavated or what being dumped right good so by studying this table you can be able to give them um, an interpretation to what to your terrain data or maybe to your 3d data that um, you would have um, likely imported to global mapper for your volume analysis right good so thanks for coming to class and we hope we have um, shown you how to walk around them um, global mapper to generate what um, a volume report like this which shows what the cut and fill um, information as it is being stated they are calculate um, cut and fill volume right good calculate the cut and fill volumes either within what the selected area or along the selected line feature right good so in this case i think um, we are using what the contour lines which are along the what the selected line features so we are going to see you on the next one ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye